Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with our fake Grand Order video. There's not a lot of time left to grind, <laughs> so I figure now is the perfect time to release me talking about grinding the final note here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really late on this. You can blame it on work and me finishing up Lost Belt 6, but there you go. I figure for the last day, since it really doesn't matter at this point, I may as well just show the teams that I had in the brief time I had to make up teams for farming. Whoa. No, it's the cat in my bed. Performing the event, I may as well just show them and get right into it. So let's go. Feel free to tell me how you... There's a lot of ways to grind. Uh, and I should also say this is specifically trying to get as close to three turns as possible. Um, so yeah, let's go right into it. I can show off the first one because this one I like a whole bunch. I've been... Uh, first things first, I'm going to need a Oberon friend. And here we go. We have one that uses Santa Martha. Now, I'm actually building up Santa Martha for the upcoming raid event. And then I just so happened to realize, wait, I think I can actually just use her for here. Uh, so what's going on with this one? You're going to see Naito a d decent bit here, especially when I go back to the arts team. But this is the basic setup of the team. Santa Martha, I believe, has her append in because I have to because I had to uh, get it up to quick because I don't have the grind node at 50%. So I have to make do with the, because usually if you're doing all grind C, which is what I'm doing, it is 30%. So if you wanted to start her off at 50%, you're going to need to use the append skill and level it up so you can get 20% that way. Of course, if you already have the grind C at max and it's at 50%, then you don't need to do that. It's just overdue. But yeah, I was able to do that with her. And then I believe also with Zong Zong, specifically for this team, I had to actually unlock her append skill for the middle one. And keep it at level 1 just for that extra 10% because it came in. And yeah, it uses a friend Oberon. So let's go just right in. I can show it. It's pretty easy. Uh, I was trying to whittle it down to make it as consistent as possible with the not a lot of leveling up of her skills as I had. As you can see here, the only one of her skills that are fully leveled up are the is the third skill. Uh, one moment because I just... Yeah, just a little bit low. I forgot that they talk while you're doing it. So yeah, for the first round, this one's pretty easy using Naito. Uh, you can use those two right there. The reason I put Zhang Zhang and uh, Martha in the front is because they have a lot of arts cards. So you'll lead into a situation like this right here. Uh, usually you want Zhang Zhang to have a little bit of arts in the front, but it's okay. We'll go here. The reason is, is that that's going to fully help uh, simulate her having the full 50% <coughs> grind C, which I don't have for her at the moment. So let's go right there. Naito will almost always kill the first uh, team. The reason is, is that she has a high chance of just instant killing him with the first skill. And that she also, with this skill, gives her almost 100%. So there's not a lot you have to deal with it. So anyway... We'll pull out uh, Naito here, pull her out here, and we'll bring in the friend Oberon. Uh, from this point on, you go here, give it to her. You go here, give the extra 20%. Go here, get an extra 20%. And then you go here, go here. Now, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful one here because I missed out on the 20% arts from doing a 3 chaining. I'm going to have to use Oberon second here. And I think that should be, there's a chance I insta-kill if I use that. So let me just not do it right there. Go here, here, and then here. So yeah, Sansa Martha gives 50% if you're fighting someone who is undead, divine, or a demon. And thankfully for this note here, and you'll realize in a lot of fights, you're usually one of those three. <laughs> Most boss fights in Fago, you're either divine, you're undead, or you're a demon of some kind. So very helpful. So this should make it so the Song Zong either... I don't want him to kill her. Please don't kill. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna need you to kill with this, though. There we go. Perfect. So she'll take the debuff from Oberon, but it's okay because she was able to get the MP. And then we'll go here. And then Oberon will finish this up right here. There's no reason for me to do that. She will absolutely sweep this, no problem. And then boom, go in there. Yeah, so I'm preparing Santa Martha for the upcoming raids. Um, Cause she's very good. If I can, damn, 
I've never seen it that high because I usually don't save that uh, attack skill from there at the end. So let me just do it one more time just to go, just to go through it, just to show it again. Uh, and yeah, the, the cool thing about this one is that it only requires a friend Oberon, and of course it does use a five star because it's uh, <laughs> it is Song Zongo for eighty percent MP up, but it's okay. In theory, you could do this with a um, some kind of arts unit, but yeah. She'll almost always kill him 100%. Even I don't even have this at level one, uh, level 10 yet. It's at level 8 for both of them. Uh, and that should be enough. So we'll go here. Okay, we got much luckier. So with the one Song Zong Arts, the, um, it should be enough. You want to get at least one Song Zong Art here in the first one. Also, apologies if I'm butchering her name. Um, she has three Arts cards. It's usually going to happen. <laughs> If it doesn't happen, it means you got very unlucky, which I did on the first go around. Such is the nature of RNG, though. Go here. Go ahead, friend Oberon. Okay, and since I have the full setup here, she was able to get it. I can kind of just go ham wild on this one. She also doesn't have her other skills at the full level, and for that reason, I have to use. I have to always make sure I use these, just to make sure that I 100% kill him. He should be dead. Go ahead, Santa Martha. Cook him up something delicious. Oberon there, told to leave his room. Enjoy the eating, the Merry Christmas. There you go. And she should either one-shot kill him or leave him close to dead, like with 500 HP or so. Yeah, close to like five. Yeah, one nine thousand. That's nothing. Easy clap. And I don't even need to do anything except for remember to do this. Yep, and that should be enough. And yeah, that was the just messing. This team can also use Helena over. Um. It can use Helena over Nidocris, but it does require the Helena to be fully kind of built up in skills and also maybe get the append as well. I don't have my uh, Helena that built up. I actually checked. She's only MP1 for war. So when I was looking at trying to build something, when I was looking up casters and stuff like that, I was like, ah, damn, I could probably farm it with that team and make it so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of get Song Zong's. Uh, NP because Helena gives 20% a level 10 in her first skill and she gives herself 30% so that means that's 70% right there plus the 30% that you have from the grind CE that should make it so she has 100% NP chance and then you shoot off her NP she gains I think like she has a crazy NP damage that only lasts a single turn but it's okay you only need her to last a single turn and then you swap her out for Oberon and you continue with the loop there it's just easier with Nido because I already have Nido built up. That's why I use her. But yeah, that's one team. Let's go on to the next one. Uh, I think I can show... Yeah. This one? No, not that one. There we go. This one's a very easy tradition. This is where I realized, oh yeah, I can just use Nido for the first bit here. And it's not a problem because I was using her on my arts team. <laughs> Because I was trying to think of, like, how do I deal with the first node? I really wasn't in the mood for uh, swapping into Oberon. At least when it comes to arts teams, I'm not. So this is a very easy way to just kind of take care of them, and there's no problem. Yeah, Naito has almost always insta-killed them. I think I remember the math right. She has, like, a very high chance to kill them almost 100%. I don't have it at seed. Like, it's... It's like probably closer to the 90%, but it's okay. She does enough damage that she kills him. And I think mine is maybe NP1? NP2. Mine's NP2. Uh, okay, that's enough for her. And then in comes in Vlad. Because I was trying to find, out of all my single target arts dudes, who does best in this situation. Um, because my single target casters for arts are they weren't living up to snuff because they do not have np gain of any single kind at all so they were having a little bit of trouble but then i remembered good old vlad here and he can pretty easily kill the main oni here and then he will have enough np to spare for the second raid man arts is just so insanely good 
I just realized it didn't say any. Why isn't it? Do I have to turn on the subtitles or something? No, it's right there. Okay. Yeah, Fave Emperor. And this is another unit that I don't even have fully built. I really should build up my Vlad. <laughs> Vlad is a very good unit. I don't think I even need to do that, to be honest. He should be able to kill her with just that. He, It was really more to flex here and just kill her. That was the only reason I did it. Covered him, but there we go. I hereby... You're dead! Good job, Vlad. Yeah, this one's super simple and easy to kind of just figure out. Ooh, I am getting a lot of these. Thank you. The more of those I get, the less I have to grind for them later. Uh, but yeah, and the, similar to this, if, if it's a, it all depends on what kind of units you have. The real shame of it is that if I wish I had just a little bit more time, I would have tried to look up more teams where it was... Maybe you only needed to use the friend support, something similar to I almost completely screwed myself there. Sometimes. Something kind of similar to Santa Martha, where it's just literally a four star, two four stars, and then the one five star. But to be fair, the one five star is Song Song. So it's a little bit tough. Not a lot of people have um, access to Song Song, even though she is a widely available five star. By widely available, I mean uh, she is always on every banner. <laughs> and it's also a good chance for you to get her for free. Very rarely does her ability come into play, but now that we're experiencing grind nodes where you need to take down a single foe, it's her time to shine now. There we go. There we go, Vlad. So yeah, I ended up using Vlad. And here I can even use Castoria to give him a little bit of attack boost if I wanted. It's really unnecessary. Like, my dude's not even at full level 10 skills and he's having no issues taking care of this. The only times he's ever had issues is when I forgot to give him his guts. Because I forget that his guts uh, com comes with an NP gain. There he goes. Why does sometimes the... That's funny. You're dead. Yep, and 50% is all I need. Boom. Yep, and there we go. Yeah, sometimes the words go away. What's up with that? That's weird. Well, you're dead now. Take that. How Fate Apocrypha should have ended. Vlad sweeping the nation. <laughs> I'm just giving with the people what they wanted. What if Vlad just showed up and just said, I'm gonna stab you. The true happy ending of Fate Apocrypha. Anyway, that's enough for the arts one. Uh, yeah, the the sad thing is is that uh, <laughs> I did a recent video talking about like when are you ever gonna need a single target caster for quick? And then during this grind note, I said, "Damn, I really wish I had the Guda Guda single target caster for quick." Because <laughs> I was the only when I was looking up quick single target units, I was like, I don't have very many built up, and I don't have any for caster because they're isn't any on the na side uh besides her she's the only one so anyway sorry cold hot dog i can't use you let's go on to the next team which is going to use koyanskaya so here we go here's buster not using naito instead using ardash over here doing what he does best dying in spectacular fashion so we'll go in here and quickly show it off here we go. We're going to be delivering to these opponents Christmas cheer. Now, this one I actually did unlock the append skill. I think I put him to... Damn, I wish I could... Just... Yeah, to level 10. So, that way I can start with here. It is actually possible... This I did it specifically so I could do it with the grind CE. Um, if you have it at full max CE, which is gives you the starting 50%, you don't need to do this. Um... But it is something that I do specifically. So yeah, what do I do here? Why is Oberon here? Well, that's simple. What is the one negative about Oberon? He leaves the dude to sleep. But what if he just never woke up? There'd be no issue. Now, the one issue I do have with this team <laughs> is that occasionally Stella does not kill the middle. But it's okay. Stella killed the middle this time. Wait a minute. He dealt 80,000 that time? That's a lot more than I was expecting. I may have screwed up. Oh, I did the wrong order of things. My bad. <laughs> I was realizing, why did he deal so much damn damage? I realize now. 
why he dealt so much damage. Go here. Uh, go here. Go here. Uh, this actually might be a little bit troublesome, actually. Uh, okay, that will make it a little bit easier. Uh, there's a chance I might not kill here, because I did not do that right. Obviously, if you use those two first skills, Arash will kill the first wave 100%. Okay, here we go. Okay, thank god, she killed him. Alright, that should make this final node much easier. I mean, there's also still a chance that I fail at this. So you 100% guarantee it, you definitely use Oberon as the finisher piece here. So here we go, we're gonna show her a little bit more protection from the Buddha. So yeah, if you use Oberon, that's an instant one-hit kill right there. But I'm hoping with the- yeah, there we go. Crit buffs are what's gonna bring us here at the home at the end of the day. Take that. Boom. Sniped. Alright. Let me do that again, this time doing the other way of showing it off. Because <laughs> I was like, saying, ah, sometimes he doesn't kill, and then he just uh, completely evaporated those dudes. Uh, you can actually probably do it this way if you want it to be... You play a little bit more into fates about whether or not... Actually, it looks like you can kill the the second boss, no problem, with just two... Two bitches. Uh, so yeah, you go here. And then... No, you still do, in fact, give him this. Okay. There we go. And then sometimes he just doesn't kill sometimes. You saw the 80,000. Without the first skill, it goes down to 52. That first skill is just insane. You don't really think about it, but yeah, you can see the damage difference between me using the first skill and me not using it. The reason is, is that this is an increased MP strength and increased MP gauge. It's kind of crazy. Psychoda. There we go. And we go here. We go here. Go here. Okay, and then... Give them the NFS special. And that should be... Enough. Uh, there's a chance for it not to be enough, as always, whenever I do this, but I'm pretty sure that's enough. Yeah, that's more than enough. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank God for Buster being just so busting. They just love their busting. So yeah, I have no problems going through this one. The reason is, is that she got that MP damage increase. So she should be able to kind of kill here. But yeah, if you can somehow save the Oberon one, that would be an instant kill. But I just realized there's no way to save the Yi. <laughs> there's no way to save it with the current team build that I have and the, the, the way the units are set. Oh, is she not going to kill here? No! She didn't hit any of the crits. That's hilarious. Uh, now we're going to have to watch her. This is the punishment we get. Could we have had a little bit of extra damage? I should have gone for the extra bit of damage. It's fine. Four turns is like three turns, but one more. There you go. Hit right there. I should have g given her the bo bonus to damage and attack there. I should have done that, but unfortunately wasn't thinking. It's all right. Uh, I mean, at this point, I have, unfortunately, the deep down inside, if I do not actually show it, three turning it makes it seem like i'm a liar so i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna show doing the other way that uh it's totally possible okay there we go then we give him that right there there we go uh yeah the issue here is that there's a chance he just won't kill so we'll go here and that should be enough. Oh, that's not enough. Oh my god. 
Let's try that again. That was very unlucky. <laughs> that was, uh, hmm. I swear this worked. This this was working 100%. <laughs> I was trying it last time. RNG could be a little bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. I was going to say probably the, the worst uh, turn that you could have with it would be having nothing but Oberon and then having no Kleanskaya um, Buster. Because she'll always kill with a Buster, but she won't with a... Uh... Yeah, this is a good example of that. Uh, okay, we'll go here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then go here. Maybe I was right doing it the first way. Maybe Zhang Zhang doesn't need the, the MP damage, but Arash does. See, yeah. You always leave it with just a little bit. And obviously not everyone can do this because I also have mine at level 90 because I really like Arash. So, if you're using him in base form, this is just not going to work out unless you are specifically doing the first skill and the third skill for him and killing that way. So, go here. Go here. Okay, uh, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. I could also save the, um, Song Zong's NP, uh, charger for herself, because the attack bonus that she gets to her NP only lasts a single turn, so it'd probably be better to actually wait and save it for the, uh, the other one. I'm, like, doing too much damage to it. <laughs> That might actually be the smarter way of going about things. Okay. This might be another one where I'm not actually 100% sure she's going to make it. And then I'm also going to stun her, just to be sure. Yeah, this is another one that uh, I might I might actually not make it. It's really funny that the one where I said, like, oh yeah, I never do it this way ran perfectly. And then the one that I have been using is the one that is failing me. Nah, she's got it. Yeah, she's got it. If you only have 7,000 left, that's uh, easy to stay there. Okay. That's enough of this. Like I said, uh, very quickly made teams. Alright, but now let me show you one that I'm 100% sure. This is the final one that I made because this is always works in every single one. 100% um, golden fruit. And we're going to need Castoria for this one. And this is 100%... Uh, you ever play Magic the Gathering? Because there's a deck in the game called Money Pile. Because it's just a pile of good cards uh, that cost a lot. That's the equivalent to this team. This is Chen Gong farming. He's all He all has level 1 skills. And he's level 65. Because he doesn't need any more levels. And he doesn't need any of his NP skills leveled up at all. Uh, Chen Gong farming is the ultimate sign of I am tired of the game. And I wish for it to stop, because this is a team that will almost always 100% work, even if you're fighting against something that he has type disadvantage against. I'm pretty sure there's a way for him to still be able to win it. So, here's how it goes. If you've never seen Chen Gong farming, this is how it goes. Everything into Chen Gong. Put all your faith, put all your everything into Chen Gong. Believe him. Switch out. Here you go. Power up Chen Gong. Heal Chen Gong. He needs it. He doesn't need the heal, actually. And then, uh, yeah, just shoot him. Shoot your dude. And there goes all these hands, because these hands are about to catch the ultimate hands, which is Chen Gong. Yep, and there they go. And then, of course, <laughs> no strong attack can be dealt without a sacrifice. So he goes away from us. But it's okay, Parcelus is here. Everyone loves Parcelus. Parcelus, whose only skill at level 10 is this one, which is Philosopher's Stone. Because it applies guts, but then most importantly, it applies NP gain. So to increase the NP gain of my boy over here. So yeah, we're also going to give him Rapid Casting. And then we're going to go here, give that to Chen Gong. So here's something fun about Chen Gong. Uh, let me find the exact note for it. Uh, for go. So, Chen Gong has an over damage, which is like this, which you're gonna see here for this one. 
The single target foe has a lot of HP, but it's not really going to matter because Chen Gong's over overcharge effect is that based on his charge level, he gets additional damage. At level 1, it's 0. At level 2, it's 225%. Uh, percent. At overcharge level 3, it's 450%. Percent. If you get him to charge level 4, it's 675. And if you get him all the way to the final charge level, that is 900%. Um... So you know what? Just for the fun of it, let's show Chen Gong in his final form. I put Arcelestis first because it doesn't matter. This effect of his means nothing. If anything, you're just here to look at the pretty colors. Look at him deal a full on 20,000. He's contributing to the team, honestly. He just doesn't know the way that he's contributing it is with his body. And there we go. We'll get a little bit of caliber, and then you know what? Chen Gong load the cannon. There we go. There's the damage, and then there goes Parcelus. Yep, more than enough damage. Funny enough, it would be more damage if I had actually just saved one off. I think. Anyway, and this final note, she literally stands no chance. She just dies here because here we go here. Yep. Uh, funny enough, I think I actually may have lost just a little bit of um, NP gain going for the uh, the Castoria NP. It's not really necessary. You don't need it. It all it does is elongate the fight. But there you go. Necessary sacrifices. She's gone now. Chen Gong remains, and he's gonna take a little nap now. Because Oberon's uh, third skill puts it so that whoever uses it goes to sleep, but it's okay. He's done his job here. And yeah, this team works on just about anything. It doesn't require... I think it does require at least <coughs> one Castoria, which you can use from the support. I'm pretty sure I could use Tomomo and it would still work, but it would require a little bit more planning around, if I remember correctly. So go here. And you can use others that give NP gain, like Bride Nero. You can definitely use her... You can use Tomomovich, you can use uh, Scotty, you can use anyone that- you can use Waver, you can use Reigns. Any support can be fed into Chen Gong and launched out the cannon. Because that is what the function is here. So we'll go here. We'll go here. I always put Castoria first because I want her to survive. So I put her at the end and then in comes in our boy. Asaplasis. And Chen Gong's just gonna do a quick little straight up launching from here. Two pronged. And yeah, he's MP5 as well. That's important. Boom. They're gone. It was a hard decision, of course. This hurts Chen Gong to do. He may not look like it, but he's crying on the inside. Go, go here. Uh, then we'll go here, go here, and then, yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. Funny enough, this little bit of 20,000 damage actually does help a little bit. Very little, but he does lower the HP to make it so it's you only need 138,000. So, let's see. Without using the... Artoria NP, how much damage does he end up doing? Yeah, about 139. So exactly enough. Boom, he's contributing to the team. He's helping, he's nurturing. You love to see it. Go here. Go here. Go here. There's literally zero reason for me to use any of the skills of Chen Gong. <laughs> I'm just doing them for the fun, for the love of the game. All right, it's time for Overon to get into the cannon. Blow up. And Chen Gong's gonna take a little nap. Look at him, back to bed. Bro's tired, he's worked hard here. It's not easy. <laughs> oh, I got a grind C, let's go. <laughs> oh, I should not be. Oh, level 10, Castoria, damn it. I have to take a screenshot, one moment. Nope. 
I got it. There we go. Perfect. Uh, bitchin', cool. The promised time. It's here. What does this say? You will soon arrive at the place, the place where you will meet your other self, who is neither the same nor different from you. The first bell shall ring your darkness. The second bell shall ring from the empty words. The third bell shall ring from accolades. The fourth bell shall ring from truth. The fifth bell shall ring from affirmation. And the sixth bell shall ring for radiance. The sounds of the bells shall echo throughout the land of hope. The future king shall one day be resurrected. The true tomorrow shall soon arrive. And this gives in increase of an attack by 10% and 10% NP gain. That's what it means to be a king. Please tap the screen. Aw, oh, man. What a what an adventure. So yeah, those are the grind teams that I was using for that. Sorry I couldn't be a little bit of more help for this. Maybe I'll just plan out more ahead. I never actually thought someone would request <laughs> team building because I think I'm actually terrible at telling you what makes a good team. But the best way to get better at that is to actually do more videos like this so I can improve and to have a better understanding of how to kind of like present my ideas and stuff like that. Da Vinci, can you stop talking for a little bit? Thank you. Why am I looking at Pelingenius? I don't need that. There we go. All right, everyone, and that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, feel free to leave a like and comment. Tell me about the teams that you were using, just so I would know a better idea of like how to how other people are grinding this specific event. Like I said, the Hel the the reason I knew the Helena thing is because I saw someone using Helena. I think I saw someone using like Kama and Scotty, and I was like, oh damn. Uh, I didn't have time to actually look at the the video and stuff, but I was like, okay. I only had time to look at the Helena one. I was like, oh, that's crazy. I never would have thought of using Helena that way. Um, because it's one of the units that I just never level up, but it is totally possible to kind of grind and do stuff like that. You don't always need the support ones, which is a real shame that I showed you a lot of using the support ones, but you know, typically a friend one is enough. Um, I also really like these kind of grind seeds, these kind of grinding. I like th figuring them out and putting up different weirdo teams. Some that work, some that don't, some that are using units I like, and some more, some of them using units I don't use very much and learning to like them. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy grinding. I'm going to go back to grinding as soon as this video is done. Peace out.